Ontario, along with Martin Falls and Webequay First Nation, have signed another agreement designed towards boosting the economy in these northern Ontario communities. Hello. Me, I would like to acknowledge and thank Chief Bruce of Martin Falls First Nation and Chief Cornelius of Webequay First Nation for joining me today. Before we begin today's event, I'm honored to ask Elder Roy Spence to lead an opening prayer. Kinanantumagoge, <laughs> Thank you. Megwich, Elder Roy Spence, for the prayer, for opening this gathering in a good way. We acknowledge that we are gathered on land covered by Treaty 13, signed by the Misagas of the Credit First Nation. Today, I am proud to announce that Martin Falls First Nation, Webeke First Nation, and Ontario have reached a community development agreement that will support collaboration on building the roads to the Ring of Fire. Our agreement accomplishes two important things. First, it commits Ontario to supporting shovel-red infrastructure projects to help each First Nation prepare for future economic development opportunities such as road construction and mining development. This lays the foundation for building the corridor to prosperity, an all-season road network that would link Martin Falls First Nation and Webeke First Nation to the highway network and the mining opportunities in the Ring of Fire. We'll accomplish this by working with First Nations partners to help them prepare for future economic development opportunities by investing in projects that meet their specific needs. Projects like new health and training facilities, recreational centers, commercial buildings, and labor force development programs are all eligible for funding. The community development agreement we are signing today is the next step to build the roads to the Ring of Fire and advance economic reconciliation. The second part of the agreement is about working together on decisions such as construction, ownership, and governance while the environmental assessments are ongoing. This is about uh, improving project timelines. We cannot wait for the EAs to be completed before we start thinking about what the future will look like should the EAs be approved. Our government is grateful for the progress both Martin Falls First Nation and Webeke First Nation have made on these historical environmental assessments to support road construction in the Ring of Fire region. This agreement reflects that progress and aims to ignite collaborative discussions for proactive planning on these roads. I know the Community Development Aid Agreement we've reached here today will help us work together to build stronger communities and prepare for a future that is connected by roads. I'd, night, and I'd now like to invite both chiefs to say a few words, starting with Chief Bruce of Martin Falls First Nation, Megaway, Megwich, and thank you. Good, good morning. We got uh, hit now. Chief Bruce had finished coming to the cast. 
Kajonán, Tanzsi, most tudtam, minden majáján, a maga a kacsikák, Thank you, thank you all for uh, coming today and uh, on this uh, historic day, uh, reaching an agreement, uh, 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 pre-development agreement with uh, Ontario to start moving on uh, very important areas that uh, our First Nations are are embarking on, looking at uh, economic development opportunities and further strengthening our First Nations with uh, the tools necessary to. Uh, uh, be prepared for uh, future uh, uh, large-scale developments in our area. It's very important to our, our, our members, uh, especially our youth, who need a, a, a bright future as can be. And, uh, you know, moving forward uh, with Ontario in a collaborative manner, we need to uh, also address the, our past, uh, our past uh, history that we have with Ontario and, uh, and, and learn, learn from that history and move forward in, in, a, in, a, in a bright, positive manner that, uh, that uh, ensures that, you know, First Nations have their rightful place in this uh, land that we call Canada. Uh, historically, there's injustices faced by our First Nations with uh, resource development. We seek to uh, uh, chart a new path moving forward and that uh, in that uh, any uh, development that happens in our territory, the First Nations will lead. And uh, we're doing that with uh, being proponents of uh, those environmental assessments that ensure that these developments happen in the near future. Martin Falls Community Access Road, Northern Road Link, and uh, the Webuka Supply Road are, are very important uh, developments. Uh, uh, Martin Falls uh, leads our own proponency under Martin Falls Community Access Road, and uh, we're partnered with uh, Webquay on the Northern Road uh, Link uh, Environmental Assessment, and they also lead their own assessment under the Webquay, Webquay Supply Road. But you know, it's very important work for us. We take the lead in that, working with our with our staff and and, and our partners, and. Uh, we have uh, very important, uh, very uh, capable people working with us, and uh, we want to continue to do that, take the lead in, on any developments that happen in our lands. So uh, I want to thank you all for, uh, for allowing us this opportunity to come together and uh, sign this agreement. Miigwech. Chief. Good morning, uh, everybody. My name is uh, Cornelia Suavas. I'm the chief of Webukai First Nations. Um, I'm glad to be here today. I uh, would like to thank uh, our elder, Roy Spence, for uh, uh, opening prayer. And uh, also I'd like to uh, thank, uh, you know, the minister for inviting us here. Uh, and. Uh, and, and the announcement uh, that uh, that uh, that he made uh, for uh, for all of us, for uh, the minister with uh, with the two communities, Webukoy and Martin Falls. Uh, Webukoy First Nation is a community, a remote community uh, that is situated in the in the north, in the uh, Ring of Fire area, and the proximity to the Ring of Fire. Um, the uh, the community has a vision to uh, you know to prosper from any development in our area, and uh, the reason for the vision is that we we want to be able to uh, you know to, to work with the government side by side, also work with industry, you know to uh, you know to to uh, address some of our needs in our communities, and the well-being of our community is very important to us. So. So that's why uh, you know we are moving forward with our continuation to uh, you know to working with Ontario and industry as well too. Also uh, working with the uh, other surrounding First Nations, so they also can benefit from what is happening in the area. So I'm very thankful that uh, that uh, we are you know moving forward and, uh, and and looking to the future for real benefits for our communities. And uh, 
we are grateful that, that we are part of this process, you know, moving forward where we will, uh, you know, benefit and, uh, uh, and our young people will benefit in, in the near future. So we are very happy to be here today and, and uh, we hope that, you know, as, as we move forward, we continue to make progress and, uh, and see progress and, and uh, you know, make things happen for our communities and all parties as well too. So, so I'm glad to be here and uh, looking forward to moving forward and, and uh, you know, see you know, real uh, progress being made uh, as we move forward. So I'm glad to be here today on the signing ceremony of a continuation of agreement with, uh, with Ontario. Thank you very much. Thank you both for your, remark, your remarks and commitments to building stronger communities. Please join me in signing our shared community development agreement together. So proud to be associated with these gentlemen. So proud to be associated with these gentlemen. Like what you see? Subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure to hit the notifications.